Hello, welcome to Ignani.com. Beginning Petaboko. Chapter 1, Introduction to Petaboko. As part of a project requirement, I was supposed to work with Petaboko, a micro ORM, which was something I had not heard of before. After putting quite some effort in learning how to use Petaboko, I thought it would be good to document it for future use, and at the same time I wanted to help others like me which is what prompted me to share these videos and samples on the web. While these videos are not something that teaches you everything about Petaboko, it covers everything that I know. I would encourage those of you who are interested in Petaboko, to add to these videos to help it grow. Now if you just happen to land on this page, you might be thinking what is this Petaboko? Before getting to know Petaboko, let me give you an introduction to Micro ORM. What is a Micro ORM? While I have not come across a proper definition, which I did not even find by either googling or binging, as per my understanding. It refers to a kind of data mapping tools which take a minimalist approach to mapping between the database tables and the objects. It strips down the traditional heavyweight ORM to its core, and leaves out the complexity. Micro ORMs are often distributed as a single file single class open source library, which tends to deliver at incredible speed compared to the more heavyweight ORM offerings. Their focus is mainly on materializing data rows into a class. A developer would typically write inline SQL, for querying the data. Currently the most prominent micro ORMs for .NET include, Massive, Petapoco, Simple Data, Dapper. But there are a few more which I have not mentioned in the list too. What is a Petapoco? Petapoco is a tiny, fast, and easy to use single file micro ORM, which runs on .NET and Mono. It's a single file micro ORM that can be easily added into the project, which supports strongly typed BOCOs. It supports a close relationship between a database table and the objects. It is a micro ORM from the top 10 software, which was inspired by Massive. But unlike Massive, it supports Spokos. It's slightly more comprehensive than some of the more minimalist implementations like Dapper, but is still extremely terse compared to a full ORM. Features of Petaboko It's a tiny single C sharp file, which can be easily included into the project, and returns great performance by eliminating link and fast property assignment with dynamic method generation. Works with strictly undecorated BOCOs, or attributed almost BOCOs. Helper methods for insert, delete, update, save. Paged requests automatically work out total record count and fetch a specific page. Easy transaction support. Better parameter replacement support including grabbing named parameters from object properties. Includes T4 templates to automatically generate BOCO classes for you. You can use the well-known SQL query language, thereby eliminating the need to learn new link syntaxes. Includes a low-friction SQL builder class that makes writing inline SQL much easier. Hooks for logging exceptions installing value converters, and mapping columns to properties without attributes. Works with SQL Server, SQL Server CE, MySQL, PostgreSQL and Oracle. Works under .NET version 3.5, or Mono version 2.6 and later. Experimental support for Dynamic, under .NET version 4.0, and Mono version 2.8. Support for NUnit unit tests. And best of all, it's open source. I think that should be enough for an introduction to Petaboko. Let me start with a small demo, to show you how to use it in an ASP.NET MVC project in my next video. You can find, a lot of free video tutorials, 
training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.